come to Jomek. Jomek is John Mutu the Empowerment Center, and we have picked a policy from the Nakulu County government and uh, Gov Her Excellency Gov Governor Susan Keheka. Their intentions are to have a humane settlement and solution of the street families. We as uh, contractors in this uh, uh, whole venture are here to ensure that what we offer is medically assisted psychotherapy. The medical component is quite comprehensive because you have to check everything from cancer down to in, in minor infections to complex ones like uh, COVID, to TB, hepatitis B, and so forth and so on. And then the counseling will have to be done state of the art and also supported medically by a lot of formulations or molecules. Waziri, welcome to Jomek. It was uh, it's a good challenge to us working on a five theme approach towards rehabilitation of street children is very new concept. I don't know anybody in Africa. I've been to Mozambique, Namibia, I've been to Egypt, I've been to Israel, I've been to some states in the US. Nobody is able to do it as comprehensively as we proposed here. Medically assisted psychotherapy. And at the point of admission, you'll have a team of over 50 professionals, including lawyers, human rights people, to, uh, people who are social workers, police, intelligence officers, and everybody, so that the only genuine street families benefit from this system. Nobody should be oppressed to an extent that they cannot understand why they are here. Nobody will be forced or coerced to come for treatment, but everything will be done as per UN Charter and any other treatment uh, protocols that exist. We thank the national government who have given us a very strong patronage, NACADA, uh, we have uh, the, the people from Ministry of Health, the whole team from Ministry of Health and everybody else. We are hoping to be ready any time soon, as soon as the governor wishes to bring in the patients. Thank you very much and welcome to Jomek. The CCM in charge of social services, county government of Nakuru. Um, I'm glad to be here today. Uh, on a mission uh, towards the relocation of the street families. This is a project that uh, Our Excellency initiated last year, around April. So we did set a committee. The committee has been having sittings for this one year. So that itself is an indication that is an intensive exercise and it requires uh, a lot of preparations. Governor Susan Kika has been keen on the street family issue or menace. During the previous two regimes, uh, you all uh, witnessed when the street families were, be, were dumped in Chemusu's forest and any other forest. Actually, when she was in the Senate, she did a follow-up on uh, that issue and rescued some of the street families. So when she got into power, this was her first agenda to ensure that she has a humanistic approach towards the relocation of street families. So it's not only a matter of relocation, but it has actually six components. Uh, component number one, those are the, the thematic um, uh, key issues actually to consider when uh, um, implementing this project. Number one is that uh, we shall do the verification of the street families. Those who don't belong to Nakuru County shall be deported back to their counties. We don't want to carry the burden of other counties. Number two, we shall have a team of um, the probation officers, uh, the Law Society of Kenya, actually they're part of the committee, the children's department, they've been the stake, uh, part of the stakeholders. And uh, with the verification on whom should benefit from this should be a genuine case, because those who have their homes shall be taken back to their homes. The genuine needy case shall then remain for treatment, number two. We have to treat them. Number three will be the rehabilitation, so that the drug addicts get, I mean, they get to recover well, 
and then benefit from the third component which is the empowerment component we have to empower them the school going children will go back to school and uh, thanks to CDN the CDN is part of this committee they are willing to take uh, these children going uh, the, the, the kids back to school and even to empower some of the youths they've been doing this before so after the empowerment, there shall be the reintegration back to the society. And finally, monitoring and evaluation. So you realize that uh, Excellency is not uh, up to just uh, relocating the street families and then feed them. Feed them and s they feed and sleep, no. This is uh, the empowerment aspect. Uh, this is the reintegration uh, back to the society aspect. And we also have... Uh, the exit strategy of uh, giving them startups, those will be existing, they shall be given startups. Uh, she's working tirelessly towards achieving this. She's looked for partners all around, and there are one, two partners who are willing to partner with the county government of Nakuru to enable these achieved. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jomek. Do you have a question for me? Okay. Definitely, definitely. Uh, the county government of Nakuru has a facility in Njoro, the OVC. So after their, um, I mean, health is restored and they are good to go, they're now normal, they shall undertake courses, various courses, training skills here and there, entrepreneurial skills. And then once they, 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 they're established with that, they shall be given a startup, like the toolkits, like a, a maybe a car wash machine or a welding machine to go and start up a business. For the school going uh, children, they'll be taken back to school, definitely. Uh, even those who would wish to go to college will be taken to college by Your Excellency. Thank you. Yeah. So that the red is here, popularly abused as uh, slaves. <laughs> and that way they will send a message to the emergency center. The word that is laid down to receive patients. Construction of Jomek is being revised. This is a sliding gate to Eco Pale. So the ladies on admission will, will be brought here after the processes there at the crisis centre. They'll be brought here now for admission. Yes. Now, this uh, nice car and you wanted to force open, you need to be a magician. And you will be alert.